Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to the range. That's what they call the main gymnasium here at Antwerp High School, home of the Archers, as we are getting ready for the weather-delayed final round of the girls' varsity Route 49 holiday tournament. Consolation and championship games on deck for you tonight. Hi, everybody. I am Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. With me tonight, Jim Seiler and Chris Warner. And we want to thank you for joining us as uh, we... Thought we'd have these games last Friday, but Mother Nature had other plans. Boy, did she ever. Man, that was a cold, cold couple of days. So just as happy to uh, delay this and be here on this Wednesday night to wrap it up. Getting ready for the uh, national anthem and the introduction of players. So until they get ready to do that, we go down to the field microphone and announcer. I want to say a big thank you to all of our underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. They include our Platinum Level Underwriting Supporter for 2022, Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Thanks also to our three Diamond Level Underwriting Supporters, underwriting all of our ACES Sports coverage on Hicks TV. They include the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford. APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and the Hicksville Pharmacy. They're your good neighbor pharmacy right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Thanks also to our gold level underwriting supporter, Subway of Hicksville, where they say go Lady Aces. Proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award that Jim and I will be handing out to one of the Aces varsity girls at the end of the contest here this evening. And of course, our silver level underwriting supporter, with us for selected sports broadcasts and other programming on Hicks TV. And that's the Hicksville Bank, right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio, a member of the FDIC. I want to thank them so very, very much. We're going to talk more about all of our underwriters throughout the course of the game here this evening. Again, the flag is coming down. Jim Seiler is going to be calling the play-by-play -play this evening. And Chris Warner is going to be operating the camera and overseeing the OBS software for the live stream. And we're going to go down to the floor announcer to get things started with our national anthem here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Route 49 conversation between Eden Bombers and the Hicksville Aces. To honor America, please stand and join us in playing our national anthem. So as we uh, get ready for the official introduction of players, I guess I should mention, Jim, that the consolation game tonight is between uh, the Hicksville Aces and the Eden Bombers. And uh, you can't ask for two more evenly matched teams, both of them. Identical overall records of one win and eight losses. Uh, the Aces are 0-1 in GMC play, 0-3 for the Bombers in the uh, BBC. And so uh, one of these teams is going to pick up win number two here tonight. Yes, they, they will, and it's going to be the team that, you know, out-hustle the other and probably, uh, well, have to put more points on the board. Obviously, but, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. The, the one that's the, the team that has the cleaner passing, that right. avoids the turnovers, the little mistakes. Does the rebounding. The, getting the good rebounds. Uh, right. Yeah, avoids getting into foul trouble, especially with some of their key players early. 
And uh, this again, you know, just plays. You're gonna have to. They're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to play good fundamental basketball. I've got a new. Okay. New starter. Yeah. For the Lady Aces, who are wearing their home whites, uh, they are going to be starting Kennedy Adams, number three. The new one is the new one. Listen to me. The the yeah. one who's getting the start tonight Ashland for the first Siri. time. Uh, Lindsey Bergman out on the floor along with uh, Leah Seitz and Alyssa Seitz. And then we've got uh, Wolford, Ripke, Craven, Hickman, and Gehrig. And Eden comes up with the ball with Hickman. Gets to it. Gives it to Craven. Rolls out of bound. JC JC Craven is a player to watch because she had quite the night. I mean, these Eaton Bombers, despite their record, they really gave Antwerp a run for their money. In yes, the, they did. Uh, the Hickman girl, number 23, she did a job yeah. too. I think Wolford was their leading scorer, and yep. she just got two. Two right there. <laughs> Natalie Wolford wearing number 10. Some full court pressure. Both teams want to win this game really bad. Both of these teams want to yeah. pick up their second win. They know they're evenly matched as yep. far as records, so it's going to cause that. That, and we've done these games enough, Jim, year in, year out. Though you don't want to be finishing fourth at the Route 49 Classic. No. no, but somebody no, no, has yeah, to. No, yeah, nobody wants ah. to. So, and Steri threw the pass out of bounds. Yep. And it's Eden's ball. And Hicksville's going to press. Hickman is Craven down the floor to Wolford. What Wolford a move. on a runner. And Steary comes up with the rebound. Hickman's all over her. Gets it off to Seitz. And Seitz bringing it up the floor. Yeah, the shot was oh. put up by... Adams and rebounded by Wolford. Yeah. Seitz almost had it, but Wolford just was about eight inches taller than Leah, so. Hickman with the ball. Outside. Shot put up in the outside by Gehrig. It'll be a Hicksville ball. Yep. Oh, Seitz. Leo brings the ball up. Again, a full court press. Adams pass in Berg to Bergman. Back to Seitz. Down in the corner to Steary. She traveled. Steary's going to travel with the ball. Aces. Steary getting the first start of the season tonight. Yeah. So. Lady Aces coached by Josh Fries, and it's uh, Kayla Walker, the head coach for the Eden Bombers. Up the floor, Gary passed down inside, Slapped intended for Wolford, and it's knocked out of bounds by the Aces. So. I think that was Bergman that got in there. And Pass into Wolford, puts it up. Oh, Bergman with the rebound. Steary down the floor with it. The Sites down in the corner to Bergman. Pass into Sites, back to Bergman. 15-footer is no good. Rebounded by Ripke. Craven with the ball. Pass inside. She walks with yeah. it. Not only that, she ran with it. So. They're giving her the points? You got to be kidding. And they're giving a foul. Wow. Wow. So that's going to be Leas, or Alyssa Seitz gets a, gets a foul. And two points for Wolford. And she's going to go to the line. That was simply pathetic. Wow. Coach Fries could not believe. I, I've never seen such a look of incredulity on his face. Just Craven what? with the ball. Outside to Hickman. Off the rim. Rebound grabbed by Sturry. Sturry to Bergman. Up the floor. So score says 4 nothing after missing the free throw. Adams. Oh. Shot put up. Rebounded by Wolford. Hickman with it to Craven. Down Gehrig, knocked out of bounds by Bergman. With the 
Bergman's doing what she can to sort of throw them off their uh, offensive rhythm a yeah. little bit. Step up on them. Wolford inbounds to Hickman on the corner to Craven off the rim and it's rebounded by Bergman. Bergman to Seitz. Seitz to Steery. Adams with the ball. Bergman, Bergman cross court. Bring it back up to Leah in the lane. That was blocked completely. Clean, yeah, it was a clean block. Pass inside and Steery takes it away. Knocked away from her by Craven. And Craven, we're gonna have a timeout. So the Aces uh, haven't been doing too bad of a job, but uh, haven't been able to get anything to go down the hoop. So they're trailing four nothing here early. A quick 30 second timeout. Called by Coach Josh Fries. We wanna make the comment here that they are playing music in the background. We have no control over it. We have nothing to do with the music selection. And most importantly, we don't charge anything for our live streams. We're not for profit. So we are not benefiting financially in any way, shape or form from the music that is being played in the background. We just want to appreciate the artists and the composers putting a little background music in the way and ACDC yeah. going right now. Aces will inbound the ball. Check the scoreboard. Numbers are all the same for each team. Yeah. They don't have the, there, they just yeah, okay. put up the ones for Hicksville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Perna, Perna from the corner. No. Put back Bergman, Bergman rebound good. and good. Nice put back from Lindsey yes. Bergman. Makes it a four to two game. Hickman's oh, pass in. Right to Perna. Yep. And now Adams. To the hoop. She'll be fouled and she go to the line. Pair. That means that if that would have gone in, they would have counted it. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought. Hickman's going to pick up the foul. That's team foul number one and Emma Hickman's first personal. Adams. There oh. it is. Into the game for the Bombers, Addison Briner, number 20. And for the Aces, Hayden Nyhart, number 11. Adam's second shot That's is good. 4-3, Eden with the lead. And the Aces going to turn up the pressure the a little bit. Gary with the ball to Craven. Gives to Wolford. Oh. There was one that wasn't judged as a block. Yeah. So that'll be Lindsey Bergman's first. Team foul number two. Didn't look too bad from up here, really. No. I thought she got the ball. I thought she had the ball, too. Wolford. Rattles that one down. Five points for her. She's accounted for all of the Lady Bomber points so far. One more for Natalie. No, no good. But the rebound there. chased down by Briner. Back in the corner. Ooh. And a push. Shot was put and counted. Gehrig yep. inside the line, so a two-point basket. And a second foul on Bergman, which is not good. And no free throw. I guess it was a push off going for the rebound after that shot was made. Bergman will have a seat and Sturry back into the game for the Aces. Hickman inbound the ball. Hickman from outside. The three is short. It's recovered out to Gehrig. And Adams gets the rebound. Up the floor for Hicksville. Down in the corner. Perna. Out the sights to Perna. Moves out to Steary. 
Steer it to the baseline. Ball knocked away from her by Hickman. So the Aces retain possession. 3.13 to go in our opening quarter, and Hicksville down by four, seven to three in the consolation game here. Perna gets the ball. She traveled. Yep. Caught the ball and stepped sideways to take the shot. Well, there was a face coming at her, so yep. she pulled up. Yep. Hickman. Very nice. Almost a takeaway. Wolford baseline. Shot put up, and Perna came out with it. There's the Adams. Adams looking a little more confident as uh, handling the ball and bringing it up the court. Yes. She'll she be getting a, a couple, lot better. Yep. Just a freshman, so. And she traveled again. Changed pivot feet. She's playing with two different ones. Yep. Alyssa Seitz will come in okay. for Tori Perna. Craven to inbound the ball to Wolford. Over across the other side. Back to Hickman, to Geary. No good. Wolford to rebound. Wolford two. No. Gets two shots. It's going to be 44. Second on Alyssa's sights. That's team foul number four. And again, Natalie Wolford at the line. Wolford is going to shoot two. Got it. Her second one. Also good. Makes it nine to three, Eden, with 2.32 to go in quarter number one. Ripke back in the game. Cat Rip, or uh, Gina Ripke into the game for Eden. Sights up the floor. Adams in the corner, it goes. Bounce pass, knocked out of bounds. Hey, Jackson Bergman in the crowd. Must be on winter break coming to see his younger sister play oh, basketball. Yeah. Get the ball in way too high. Oh. Steery over Nyhart. Adams on sights. Steery. Alyssa Seitz, to Nyhart, up to Leah. Baseline, Adams. Stepped on the baseline. Nope, she got a foul. Oh, okay. 34. Grace Reitzel. It's team foul number two on the Bombers. Adams to Seitz. Leah Seitz, got out it. of the corner, gets a three. Oh, that Nine makes it a three-point game, yeah. Craven to Hickman. Hickman drives down low. Shot put up. Rebound pulled down by Jamie Steary. Yeah. She's scrapping. She kind of likes starting, I think. Yeah. With the varsity and not the JVs <laughs> anymore. Adam Adam's shot short. short. Hickman a rebound. And up the floor she comes. Ripke, shot put up, no good. Nyhart pulled the rebound. Gets the ball over to Adams. Up the floor. Craven with her. Leah Seitz, another one from the outside. It's no good. And Leah's going to pick up a foul. Yeah. Tripped her up a little bit there. Beyond the floor. It's team foul number five for the Aces. Miss Missouri into the game for the Aces. Yep, Alyssa Seitz will sit down for a bit. Craven down the sideline. Back out on top to Hickman. Hickman backing it out. 
We have 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Into the corner to Hickman underneath oh. to Wolford. Her shot is no good. And it's going to be a white ball out of bounds. Out of bounds. Good thing Hickman isn't hitting anything low. <laughs> okay. That's the third one she's missed. Adams up the floor. The scary. Uses. Leah Seitz with it. A hold for the last shot here. And if they Adams. Sterry inside to Adams. And we're going to have a jump ball. It should go to the aces. Yep. 13.4 seconds. Reserve. Get the ball. Or to Adams, wow. ball taken away by Wolford. Wolford, the length of the floor, and she is going to be fouled by Adams. That is what you call a good foul, because mm -hmm. that was an automatic layup. So 5.1 seconds to go in quarter number one, and Eden up by three, six, nine to six, rather. Sending Natalie Wolford to the line to shoot two. And that one's good. Wolford has one more. Adams will step out and Perna back into the game for the Aces. It's good. Play. It's nine points unofficially. Yep. Sites and out of bounds. Sites loses the ball. 1.4 remaining. Somebody better get on top of 34 down here. Nope. Into the middle to Wolford. Three quarters of the court. Oh, oh, oh my. And at the end of the first quarter of play, it's Eden 11 and the Aces 6. Well, we've got a break here between quarters, and we'll take the time to say a big thank you to one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible here at the range. And that's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank them so very much for their continued support of our Aces Sports broadcast here on Hicksville Community Television. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Oh. Boy, if she'd made that shot, I'd have been like yeah. emailing Sports Center or that they still have that one where you, if, they, if they play the thing, they, you, they pay you 50 bucks or whatever, you know. Yeah. You know, I'd find out about that. That'd be no. $50 Antwerp. in the Christmas party fund. <laughs> Antwerp to inbound the ball. Craven gets it into Hickman. Wolford is out of the game at present. Ripke, Grace Ripke with it. Mm, that might be another one on sites. Boy. And that'll put him in the bonus. Yep. Going to be shooting a lot of free throws in this half. Yep. So the bonus comes on. The bonus light comes on for the Bombers with 7.50 to go in the half. So, yep. And she no misses good. the front end. Rebound to Bergman. Steary out to Leah Seitz. To Steary. Adams deflected out of bounds. Yeah. Off that was Craven. Uh, Craven got her hands on it. JC's been kind of quiet tonight. Yeah. So is Emma Hickman so Hickman far. Hickman has too. Yeah. That's right. Bergman. Up. Oh. Oh. Mm. She was falling away from it, so it didn't get up on the glass the way it should have. Craven up the ball with the ball up the floor. 
Cravens into the lane, cross court. Derrick. Bergman once again slaps it out of bounds. So Lady Aces get time to set their defense. Quick substitutions. Here comes Nyhart and Perna back into the game. Bergman and Seitz, Leah Seitz, will come out. Now inbound ball comes out to Ripke. Pass down low, Hickman over to Gary. Gary drives the lane, puts up a shot, it's no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Sites, yeah. Alyssa Seitz to Perna. Too much on it. No good. Wolford back on the floor. Hickman with the ball. They're not, they're not near as sharp as they were the other night. No. When they were playing Antwerp, they were if sharp. The, if, uh, the Aces can be thankful that they're not playing at the level they were in the yeah. last Thursday. Cause You're right. This would be a very different game. Sturry. Oh, oh, Sturry. Again, the Lady Aces just good, idea. good shots. It's can't get the friendly bounce or the roll or whatever you want to call it. Hickman got it. Over to Ripke. Ripke, baseline, Wolford. Up good. good. She goes into double figures. Pass up to Bergman. Oh. Bad pass. Pass it right to Hickman. Hickman over to Dirk. Hickman has the ball. Into the lane. What's up the runner? Good. Hickman, her first two. Makes it a nine point game now, 15 to six. Timeout on the floor, aces. Perna coming back in the ball game for Hicksville. Rice is going to report also. Yeah. It's be a full one minute timeout. They'll give me a chance to say a big thank you to our platinum level underwriting supporter. Platinum Level means that they have underwritten all of our station operations, all of our programming, all of, uh, well, all of everything we do, all the live streaming across all of our platforms for the entirety of 2022. And that's Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. They're located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, a world-class facility. You can find out more about the many solutions they have for business and industry. Check them out online at www.arcsolinc.com. Want to thank them so very much for, again, their platinum level underwriting support this season. Denny Vetter and all the gang at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, and online at www.arcsolinc.com. 5.44 to go before halftime. It's 15 to six bombers in this Route 49 girls consolation game. The Aces have the ball. Steary to Sites to Adams to Steary. Into the lane, puts up the runners, good. There we go. Maybe that'll break the scoring ice a little bit for the Lady Aces. 15 to eight now. Yep, Wolford, two answer. Out of the lane. Okay. Adams to Leah. Out front to Perna. Uh, oh. oh, too long. And that would be a white ball. Nyhart coming back into the game for Perna. Sturry. Oh. Ball loose on the floor. Bombers come up with it. I figured she'd make that shot. I thought so too. Gary with the ball for Eden. <coughs> Rice doing a good job too. On Five defense. second count. 
That was great. Yeah. Good defense. I said Rice is out there. She came to play tonight. I mean, if you're, yeah, you're, I'll tell you're you right what. there on the borderline between JV that's, and Varsity. You right. get the chance, you need to shine. Yeah, that's right. You get your chance. Leah over to Adams. Adams picks up the foul. It was 20, committed by number 23. 22. 22. Dirk. Megan Dirk. That's only team foul number three on the Bombers. Get on the floor, so out of bounds to the Aces. <coughs> Bergman yeah. back into the game. Rice will step out. Bergman out to Adams. Oh. The sights pass. Lost and picked up by Craven. Oh, yeah, that now that's a, a travel. Boy, the referees are uh, losing it tonight. And finally slapped out of bounds. It'll go to the aces. And yeah, that was that was a big miss. Yeah, I, I, I don't often it say quite, wasn't quite as bad as that one went to the hoop though. <laughs> Jeez, she had three big steps on it. Sturry Sturry pass into sights, up off the rim, and no good. Leah at least will draw the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. 17 to 8. Lady Aces down in this consolation game. 22 picks up That'll another one. Second quick foul on Megan Dirk. And team foul number four. Number 34. Sights. Sights rolls it along the rim, and no good. She'll get one more. Rice back into the game. Sight's got it. Ball. It's four points now for Leah. All down to Ripke. Back out to Hickman. Back down low. Right to. Right so was the two. Nyhart. Cross. And Reitzel, Reitzel picked up the foul. Up the foul. That'll be two now on Grace. And that's team foul number five. Aces will get the ball side court. Down by 10, 19 to nine. Adams with the ball to Steary. Steary on top to Rice. Rice had the ball taken away from her by Craven. Pass down low to Wolford. It's out of bounds. So at least after the turnover, Lady Aces will get the ball right back. Rice back out on the, off the floor and Bergman in for her. Adams, go to the middle, don't run away. Got to go in the middle of the floor just like that, not pass to her. Wolford shot up, missed, and makes the rebound. She'll go to the line. Number five, That's Sites. Sites is second. It's team foul number third. Oh, third, excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Rice will return to the lineup. Yeah. Leah Seitz will step out. 3-11 to go before halftime. It's 21 to nine, Eden and Natalie Woford at the line looking to complete the three-point play. Gina Ripke replaces her sister, Grace. And she Wolford. does. That's 16 points unofficially for Woford. Rice. Ah. Woford was a steal. Is it the Hickman? The Craven. Rice. Rice scrapping for it. And that'll be Ace's ball on the possession arrow. <coughs> Everybody forgot about the press that they started out <laughs> with. Adams to Steary. Steary over to Rice. 
inside to Bergman to the hoop. Nope. Set up, no good. Picked up Sturry. by Sturry. Going down the baseline and she is fouled by Reitzel. That's three on Grace Reitzel now. Team foul number six. And Ashland Story shooting two. Missed it. Boy, Jim, they'd still be behind, but it'd be a little closer game if they'd <laughs> hit the free throws. Yes. Um, kind of cold from the charity stripe tonight. Miss. Yeah. No. I thought she was going to get the bounce, but no. Score remains 22 to 9, Eden. Craven to Hickman, back to Craven. A Hickman. Craven over to Ripke. A Hickman off the rim, rebound Bergman. Get it over to Rice. Rice with it, up the floor. Sterry with it to Adams. Down low to Bergman. Got Bucket. it. Good. Makes it 22 to 11. Under two minutes to go before halftime. Craven, just Ripke. Quick 30 second timeout called by the Bombers. Leading by 11 here, 22 to 11. Again, we get to halftime. We will keep it here. We'll keep the live stream going. This is the first of two live streams that we'll have from here at the range on this Wednesday as uh, we wrap up the girls' Varsity Route 49 Classic here this evening. And then we'll, well, we'll be back in action tomorrow with more basketball on the boys' side. So we're going to be going in the other direction up Route 49 for those games on Thursday and Friday. We'll talk more about that at halftime as well. Again, Jim Seiler, Bill Murphy, Chris Warner, we're the crew here tonight. Glad to have you with us on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Craven to inbound it to Hickman up on top. Running it off the point to Hickman over to Wolford baseline. She can't get a shot off. It's out to Gary to Craven. Hickman with it. Over to Craven. It's kind of a 3-2 look that the Aces are putting on. Gary oh, there we go. had a two-pointer. Four points for her. Hickman with away. a steal. Yep. <laughs> the ball is knocked well off of her foot out of bounds. <laughs> Aces ball, quick substitution, back on offense, so Bergman will come in for <coughs> Alyssa Seitz. <coughs> and another stolen pass. Whoa, oh. kicked the ball. Yeah, right into Eden Girl's stomach. Yeah. And so they'll swap Alyssa Seitz back in for Lindsey Bergman. Quick pass Wolfer inside. Nope. Shot no good. Rice with a rebound. Bergman. Nyhart with the ball. Over to Steary. Adams back out to Steary. Inside it goes to Nyhart. There That's we good. go. They do show some signs of life. Yeah. Makes it 24 13. 13. 10 seconds. Hickman bounce past Wolford. 
Up and good. Good. And that's the end of the first half of play. Eight, 18 points for Wolford in this first half. My goodness. Uh, well, it's 26 to 13 is the score. Eden leading the Lady Aces. So we've reached halftime. And as Jim just mentioned, our halftime score has the Lady Bombers of Eden leading the Hicksville Lady Aces by 13. 26 to 13, our halftime score. seconds away from getting uh, the second half started and that'll give us time to run down unofficial scoring for the uh, first half and with a look at those scores Jim Seiler how's it, how's right. it looking Jim well we'll start here with uh, the aces uh, Kennedy Adams has a free throw for a single point Leah Seitz has a triple and a free throw for four Hayden Nyhart a basket for two Lindsay Bergman two baskets for four Ashlyn Steary has one basket for two for their total of 13 for the Eden Bombers. Maddie Gehrig has two baskets for four. Grace Ratzel has a basket for two, as does Emma Hickman. And leading all the scorers with six baskets and six, six free throws yeah. for a total of 18 is Natalie Wolford. And that is their total of 26. Yep, definitely it has been the Natalie Wolford show for this game. She was the leading scorer in the preliminary game. Yeah. But uh, like I said, the Aces can be a little bit grateful because Hickman and Craven and Gehrig contributed a lot more points uh, in both halves in that preliminary game. But still the Aces down by 13. We'll get ready to get the second half underway. It'll be... Eden with the ball, the inbounds in, and we are underway. And once again with the play-by-play, -play, Jim Seiler. Okay, Hickman has the ball, the stereo on her. Gives it up to Craven, over to Wolford. Wolford on the outside. Leah Seitz pestering her. Cross court goes to Grace Ripke. Craven is over. Adams on her. Yeah, Adams has been doing a good job. JC tries to put it up, gets her own rebound. Yep. And Second Adams time. comes out yeah. with it. Looking to give it up. She was looking for a leader on, on it. Pass ahead, but never showed up. Leah Seitz. Seitz Adams. Three. Back, Adams. With Back to Leah. Leah. Come to wing. Uh -huh. Off the rim, no put good. Back. Bergman. Rebound can't, and she is fouled. Yep, can't get it to drop, but she will go to the line. 15. That'll be, uh, can't be 15, 14, 10. 10. Wolford. Wolford gets her first personal team foul number one for the Bombers. Bergman drops that one. It's five points for Lindsay now. Got it. Yeah. Makes it 26-15, cuts the lead to 11. Gehrig with the ball, up to Wolford. Wolford throws up a flyer, and she is going to be fouled by Alyssa Seitz. That will be Alyssa's third. Yep. And team foul number one on the aces. And Wolford to the line. We'll see how well she shoots from this end of the floor. Yep, missed the first one. Yep. 
Shacklin in the air. It's good. 19 for her. Adams. A little bit of pressure put on again. Leah Seitz over to Steary. About traveled. Yep, Steary loses the oh. pass cross court. Wolford uh, missed yeah. the lay in. Wolford got the rebound and she's fouled. Again. Looks like Seitz, Seitz got it again. And that'll be four on Alyssa Seitz now. So she'll be sitting down. Oh no, they're saying what? 4 0. Oh. No, it was, it was 4 4. Oh. Yeah, they got four up on the other. So again, Wolford misses the front end. She'll get a second <laughs> shot. 4 0. Oh. Yeah. And so they had to clear that. Wolford's second one is good. That's 20 now for Natalie. 28-15, Eden. 6.40 to go. Ball stolen away. Craven with it. Gives it to Gehrig. Gehrig misses everything. And it's off the blue line, yep. out of bounds. The sights into Story, right back to Sights. And again, pressure being applied. The Bergman across court to Adams. Nyhart, Nyhart doesn't take the shot. Story in the lane. No. Sights with the rebound. Ball ripped it. away from her. Cravens. Nope. No good. And another, we're going to wave that one off. Foul on the floor. Wait, Adams. three Adams. That's three on Kennedy Adams now. That's two. Two. Yep. I must have given her that extra one I had. For yeah. Her, I was missing for sights. Five second count. No, it's Hicksville ball. 6.06 to go in the third quarter. Score still 28 15. Step up, Eaton. somebody. Oh, Adams down the floor to Steary. Steary. Headed to the basket, and ball was knocked out of bounds by Ripke. Grace Ripke with the deflection. It'll be it's Leah Seitz to inbound it. Bergman Good. got it. Eight points for Lindsay. Craven with the ball. Adams on her. Wolford, Nyhart, Bar Garden. Ball coming around. Hickman, oh. pass to Craven off her and out of bounds. Hicksville's ball. Ace is down by 11. Chance to maybe get it back to single digits. Pass into Bergman, over to Adams. The, the down the sights, or uh, Sturry. yeah, Sturry. And Wolford comes out with a rebound. Deflected to Hickman. She'll hold on to it. Sturry. Playing the old hands-on game. Hickman, oh, oh. Leah Sights knocks the ball away from Hickman, out of bounds. Gina Ripke coming in for Craven. So we have two Ripkes on the floor, Gina and Grace. Pass inbound to Gina. Over to Hickman, pass to Wilford. Ball loose. And Bergman sits on it. White ball. It's like it was rolling loose, and Lindsay was looking for it, but it was it was yeah. right underneath her. Between, and then she realized that, so she just did the smart move, just sat down and oh, no. too late to think about it. You have to see it. Yeah, yeah. 
And all she had to do was think about it. The good news is it was last touched by Eden, yes. so. Yep. Come on, step and come to the ball. Long pass. Adams. There good. we go. Kennedy Adams makes it a nine-point game. Gary with the ball into the lane, and Bergman. Bergman's picked up her foul. And that's going to be three on Lindsay, and team foul number four on the Aces. They got Hickman to inbound it. They're going to stack them. Ball. Ripke on the outside. Steary gets fouled on the rebound. It's going to be 12. Yep, number 12. That would be Grace, Grace Ripke. Ripke. Have a timeout called by the Aces. Give me a quick 30. Okay. So the Aces call a quick 30 second timeout. Uh, still trailing, but they've cut the lead to single digits again. 28 19, the Bombers leading at the moment. Again, the Aces with four team fouls. And so far, Eden has committed two. Jim Seiler, Bill Murphy, Chris Warner, glad to have you here with us. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. We are on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. It's the consolation game of the 2022 Girls Varsity Route 49 Classic Tournament. Here on Hicks TV. Break huddle and we'll get ready to uh, get the action started once again. Aces to inbound the ball. Leah Seitz gives it to Steary. Ashlyn is across the line. Nyhart back out to Steary. Seitz bounce pass into Bergman. She gives it to Seitz and shot was up and no good. Wolford with the rebound. Plant yourself. She did. And she did. Rebound Hickman, rebound Hickman, and Sturry. Sturry comes out with it. I'm impressed with the job Sturry's done tonight, Jim. I am too. I am too. For we a first-time start, she's doing pretty darn well. Yeah, and we were we were saying just Gary. last last week or so that with the loss of Schrader for the season, we were waiting to see who might step up. Right. And. Maybe seeing some signs of that here tonight with Bergman and Sturry. Yep. Needs to be done. Nyhart out to Sturry. Oh, bingo. There we go. Makes it 28 22. Down to a six point lead now. Nyhart. Uh, Craven's pass underneath went to 20. Madison Briner. Briner. Pass down to Adams, Ooh. knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Takes out the cameraman. <laughs> and the player goes over and says, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> not, I'm not sure if that's the West Bend News or the, yeah, I think it is. It might be, it's not the present. Oh. Uh, whoever he is, hope Go he's on. okay. Grab hold of the ball. Craven with it. Adams guarding her. Wolford with the ball. Nyhart on her. Knocked loose, but the Bombers get it right back up 30 to 22. Hickman with the ball. Steary guarding her. Nyhart picks her up. Bounce pass across court. And we're going to have a jump ball. And it'll go to Antwerp. Hickman's going to inbound it. It's out front to Wolford. Wolford in the lane, 12 footer, no good. Rebound Bergman. Gives it to Steary. Down the court. Adams, mm, short. no good. Bergman almost chased it down. And I guess she did. It's yep. off blue. No. That one was just Time. a little too long, and, and this is going to be a Hicksville with the ball. Aces. Bounce 
Bounce pass. Sturry out on Sturry the way. out there. Look inside, too mm. long. And coming into the no, game, Porter, Lily Porter, number 22. Bergman out of nowhere almost steals it. Wolford with the ball and up the floor and Good. scores. 32-22 back to a 10-point lead. And we have a foul it's gonna be on, 14. on Craven, I believe. Yep. yep. And it'll be her first. That's team foul number four on the Bombers. Sites to inbound it. Gets it to Adams. 2.09 remaining in the quarter. Look at Adams. Down in the corner to Steary. Pass inside to Porter. It was a nice pass. And she couldn't get a hold of it. Craven, or uh, Hickman down to Craven. Craven bounce pass under Wolford. It's good. That makes it 34 to 22. Minute 35 to go in the quarter. Oh, and another way too high pass. Story Eric. needs to calm down just a little bit. Yes. She's got a little too much on her passes. She's uh, sitting down. Yep. Perna's in the game for her. Hickman down to Wolford. Good. <laughs> Wolford's having a career night, I yep. think. Nyhart draws the foul. It's going to be team foul number five. 20. That'll be the first on Addison Briner. And Hayden Nyhart shooting two. No. Oh, man. <laughs> missed Nyhart missed the second one too. Mm. Now Wolford with the ball up the floor to Craven. Uh, Hickman. Hickman. Across to Ripke and Ripke's gonna be fouled. That'll be team foul five on the aces. Perna. And that's going to be uh, Vic yeah. Victoria's Perna. first. Ripke doesn't get the bounce either. And one more for Grace. And they're waving that she out. She stepped over the yep. line. So no bucket. Score remains 36-22. Aces get the ball back. Sights to Perna. Sights, Perna. On top, Perna down in the corner. Goes to Bergman. Bounce pass out Adams. to Adams. Off the rim, no good. And there we go. Porter. Yep. Jump ball and that'll go to the Bombers on the possession arrow. 37 seconds remaining. Craven with Adams on her. Over to Hickman. Wolford baseline. Ripgate over to Craven. Wolford, stop to Hickman, no good. That'll be another jump ball. This is going to Hicksville. Yep. 
11.4 seconds for the Lady Aces to traverse the length of the floor. Down the floor they come. Leah Seitz. Perna from downtown. It's no good. End of the quarter. And at the end of the third period, it's 36 for Eden and 22 for the Aces. Well, we'll get ready for the fourth quarter here in the consolation game. And while we've got a break, uh, we'll say a big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters. Underwriting all of our Aces sports broadcasts here on Hicksville Community Television. And that's the Hicksville Pharmacy. They're your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Full pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs. They also have medical devices, equipment, over-the-counter medications, and more. Gifts and sundries, greeting cards, candles, Ohio State and Michigan paraphernalia. A couple big games coming up. A uh, couple. That uh, you might want to, you know, get yourself a hat or a scarf or something to wear. Oh, we want to thank them. watch it outside. Yeah, huh? no kidding. We want to thank them so very much for their continued support, the Myers family. Hey, if you want information on uh, getting a flu shot, COVID booster, feel free to give them a call. They'd love to hear from you. 419-542-6218. The Hicksville Pharmacy, <coughs> one of the hallmarks located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. They're your good neighbor pharmacy in Hicksville. The Hicksville Pharmacy. All right. Bombers with the ball to start quarter number four. Aces down 14, 36 to 22. And... We're underway. Rice and Adams, the guards for Hicksville, Porter, Leah Seitz, and Lindsey Bergman on the floor. Whoop. That'll be four on Bergman. <coughs> Offensive foul. Oh, no, I take it back. Then it won't be four on Bergman. It's on that'll, be two on, uh, that'll be two on Natalie Wolford, yeah. That was a moving pick call. Number six. Rice back on the floor. Cross court to Adams. Adams out to Leah. Sights. Nope. A little off. Nope. Nice tip. Down low. Porter, Porter grabs got a foul. foul. Craven picking that one up. We've seen Lily Porter in some no, of the JV games. 33, and Gary. And she's not afraid to take a shot. No. <laughs> You're right. She never saw a shot she didn't like. Yeah, and that puts the Lady Aces into the bonus as that's team foul number seven. Porter off the front of the iron. She'll get one more. Two-shot foul. Got there it. we go. Craven with the ball against Rice. Rice got a hand on her. And That'll be McKenna's first and team foul number six on the Aces. Down 36-23. Gehrig inside out to Ripke. Ball is loose on the floor. Oh. Yep. Yep. One and one. That's going to be on Porter. Yep. yep. Lily Porter gets her first personal. That's team foul number seven. And it's one and one Hickman for at the line. Emma Hickman. No nope. good. Misses Porter the rebound. End. Adams up the floor with it. Over to Rice. And she traveled. traveled. They just... They just need to flow. Don't yeah, don't just... try to fake yourself out. Craven, oh, nice oh, job, nice. Bergman. And she gets her pass picked off. Gary with it. And Seitz is going to pick up the foul. That'll be Leah's fourth. The 
6.51 to go in regulation. Gearing no misses good. that one. Score remains 36-23. Maddie Gearing will have one more. No good. Slapped out of bounds by Bergman. Bergman. Porter comes up with it. Adams. Hey, hey there we go. Five points for Kennedy Adams. He gets the breakaway and the lay in. And carried the carried ball. Carried the ball. 36-25. Aces still down by 11. But with the ball and again a chance to get down to double figures. They cut the lead to six at one point. Bergman. Adams. Porter. Porter. Got it. Got it. And she was fouled. 14. The Craven getting her second. And Lily Porter. With the free throw. Unless the sight back in the game. Oh, oh, in and out. No good. So the score remains 36 27. Nine points. Craven down low to Wolfer. Oh, no, bounced out. But the rebound went in. There's Briner getting her second bucket of the night. And a steal from Rice. And a foul from Rice. Two on McKenna. That's team foul number nine. So this will be the last one and one. It'll be two shots from here on out. Or is this a one and one or is it a two shot foul? I'm not sure. Must be two. Two shot foul. So two shots from here on out for the Bombers. 5.55 to go in the game. Porter and Rice will come out, and Alyssa Seitz and Perna back into the game. And Craven, that's her first point of the night. comes up with it. 39-27 Eden. And aces. Cross court. Perna in the corner. Adams. Rebound Bergman. Bergman. Ten points now for Lindsay on a yeah. Off the head of uh, <laughs> Wolford got it bounced off the top of her head and could not get it under control after that. Out of bounds. Ten point game and Perna gets the inbounds. Right back to Leah Seitz. She got a rebound and got fouled. She'll draw the foul. 4.55, the clock stops. 23, Hickman. It's two on Emma. Team foul number nine for the Bombers. Got it. Bergman makes it a 39 to 30 game, and she's got one more coming.
Got there we it. go. 12 for Bergman. Thirty nine thirty one. It's the lead cut to eight. Bergman's free throws. Gehrig. Yeah, and she throws right it off. See some more pressure from the bombers Why? here. Why? Why? Don't know. <laughs> Kicked out of bounds. Should stay with the aces. And that one. <laughs> Catch up with it. Oh, oh it's off, off blue. That, good job from Hayden Nyhart. Keep the aces in possession of the basketball. <laughs> All I can think of, Jim, is if you're one and eight, <laughs> you're going to do anything you can to win. You want to be two and eight. Definitely doing anything you can. Yep. So another out of bounds off of the Bombers. Someone just informed me that Eden's actually two and nine. They beat North Central and All right. They're saying Eden is two and nine? Yeah, they beat North Central and beat Bayhead. All right. Have another timeout by the Aces. So while we've got some time here in this timeout, let me say a big thank you to our Silver Level underwriting supporter with us for all of our Route 49 Classic coverage here on Hicksville Community Television, both boys and girls. And that's the Hicksville Bank, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio, a member of the FDIC. Branches in Edgerton, Ohio. We'll see Edgerton in game number two here, the championship matchup tonight, as well as Harlan, Indiana, and more. You can find out about the uh, all the about the locations, their hours, and everything else. Check them out online. Also about all the many services they have for you and your family's banking needs at www.thb.bank. The Hicksville Bank, they're right in the middle of downtown Defiance. We want to thank them so very much again for their silver level support of selected sports coverage here on Hicksville Community Television, including all, all of our games that we're covering for the 2022 Route 49 Classic, both boys and girls. The Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, online at thb.bank. Oh, Adams right there to pick it back up. Sites all alone. Oh. 3933. Shots no good, but Briner gets fouled. That's going to be on Rice. Yeah. Yep. Her third. That's her third. Team foul 10. So double bonus from here on out. 4.15 to go for the Lady Bombers. Nope. We shall have one mm. more. Score remains 39-33. Misses that one too. Nyhart. Nyhart again. Oh. No. Rice. Got yeah. it. Rice makes it a four point game. 39 35. Stolen away. Jump ball stays with the aces. Well, 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 Jim. Yeah, well, well, well. Was right. Was Rice's basket a two-pointer out there? I believe so, yeah. I had 39-35. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was about a foot and a half inside the arc. Mm -hmm. Sites shouting out some directions. Rice. Adams, good look. Sites, a rebound. 
Sites moving around. Ball on the floor. We're going to jump it. Uh, and it'll go, go to Eden. Eden. Thirty nine thirty five three twenty four to go here in the fourth quarter. Lady Bombers with a four point lead and they'll have the basketball. Craven, the dog by Sites right. up the floor. Sites bothering her. Hey Hickman with the ball. Nyhard on her. Down low. Put up the shot. Adams. Adams with the rebound. Looking up the floor. Oh. And a push. Porter coming back. Who did he see? He said 13. 13. So that's that was a lot more fingers than yeah he said 15 and yeah so it's like there's a 13 and a 14 out there which is which, which is it it'll be Bergman's fourth Wolford gets that one makes it 40 to 35 Rice will step out. Wolford gets them both. 41 to 35, back to a six point game. And Adams loses the pass. And Craven misses the, and it's going to be blocked again. And, oh man. Little, little, little mistakes. Can't make those little lackadaisical passes. That's right. Little mistakes. Three and out on. Kennedy Adams. Craven got it. 42 to 35, up by seven now. After the Lady Aces had closed to within four. And she's going to get that one too. So it's back to an eight point lead. Turnover. 241 to go. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Eden. Leading 43 to 35. Wolford in the corner with the ball. Bring it back out. Craven back to Wolford. Tried to go baseline. No, it isn't Wolford. It's, it's, oh, it's Hickman. Yeah. Ripke was sort of in on the scrum a little too. And jump ball. The possession arrow will give it to Hicksville. Rice, 2.25 to go. Rice in for Porter for the Aces. That'll be two on Gehrig. Yep. I got three on Gehrig. Yep. <coughs> Evidently, I missed. All right. Anyway, two shots. Nyhart. There we go. Nyhart gets it. 43-36. Nope. Wolford to rebound. Seven point game. Closing in on two minutes left in regulation. Craven shot up, rebounded by Seitz. Up the floor to Rice. Over to Adams. Adams. That would have been nice. Yep. 
Jump ball, and that'll go to Eden. Perna and Porter back out on the floor. And they hurl it down. Travel. Good job by Nyhart. Yep. Didn't let her get her balance back. Bring it up. Adams for three. Oh, oh. Bergman, Bergman with the rebound. Yeah. <laughs> and Bergman might get the three. That's number three on Craven. Perna will come in for sights. Yeah, Porter's going to come in for Bergman if she makes it. Got it. And no. She, no, she missed yeah. it. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> Geary with it. Over to Craven. Craven from three. Nope. No. Adams. Adams. They get a ball up. Minute 15 to go. Rice with it. Out front. Ah. And they turn it over. Stay with her. Oh, man, she had the ball. Perna will pick up the pick foul. Up her second personal, and that'll send Natalie Wolford to the line to shoot two. 59.9 seconds left in the game. That makes both of these. She can this put big. it away. Yeah. Got it. 29 for her. Bergman and Leah Seitz back in to go on offense. Six point lead. And it's good. Got it. Got it 30. And makes it a three possession game. Oh, blocked. Ah. Hickman with the ball, brings it out on top. Yep, they can afford to. Take their time now. They've got it well in hand. Yep. It's a seven point lead. I'll tell you one thing. It doesn't matter what ends up here. This is kind of a moral victory for yeah. the Aces. And that goes to the Aces on the possession arrow with 29.3 seconds. They're down by seven. Sights. To Adams, Adams cross court to Rice. Sites takes it to the runner, hoop, got it, and she'll go to the line. Twenty-four. That's the first one on Jenna yep. Ripke. Sites, see if they can make it a four-point game. And if she does, we might see a timeout from Coach Josh Freese. Oh. Nope. And Leah Sites is done. Bergman going to come in for her. So Leah Seitz will leave the game with eight points to her credit with 13.4 seconds left in regulation. Great job by her tonight. Two shots. Misses. Maddie Gehrig. She'll get one more. You're going you're gonna to have to give me extra time to count. <laughs> Got it. Got it. 
got that one. That's five for her unofficially. Rice quickly down the floor, puts up the bomb, and got it! Oh. Wow. 43-46. Is that a three or a two? Three. Three? Okay. That, was, that was an extra long three. So she was automatic out. timeout from Josh Freese. Oh, not yes. a lot of time left on the clock, but hey, they're not done yet. It's a one possession game. And we'll have a little Billy Squire in the background. Full one minute timeout for Josh Freese. Again, a reminder when we wrap this one up, we'll uh, thank everybody and uh, give you some uh, unofficial scoring for the contest. And of course, uh, we'll be awarding the Subway Player of the Game. I think I know who's going to get it this, this game. And then we will again wrap this one up and we'll be back after about a 10, 15 minute break with our second live stream from here at Antwerp High School. And that of course will be the championship game between the host Antwerp Archers and the Lady Bulldogs of Edgerton. 7.1 seconds, a three point game Eden 46 to 43 and the Bombers will have the ball for the inbounds. Get it in and it'll be a maybe a quick foul. Craven not the one to foul but Perna. they didn't give you any choice. Perna picks up her third. Yeah, you had to know Craven was going to get the ball. Yeah, that was I'm sure the count one of the elements of the conversation during that timeout between yep. Coach Walker and her girls. And yeah, that one's good. That makes it a four point game and pretty much puts it out of reach for the Aces with 1.9 seconds remaining. And. Nope. They're saying it won't matter, it's academic. So 47-43 will be your final score in the consolation game, which means the consolation winners, the Eden Bombers, will increase their record now to three and nine, and with the loss, the Lady Aces will fall to one and nine on the season. So the Lady Aces will finish fourth, and it'll be the Bombers wrapping up third place as they'll start to clear the gymnasium out a little bit and uh, bring in the teams for the next matchup, the championship game, which again will be between the Antwerp Archers and the Edgerton Bulldogs. And while Jim is uh, compiling away, <laughs> I will uh, say Another big thank you to all of our underwriters making our coverage possible here at Antwerp High School tonight. We want to say a big thank you. First off, to our platinum level underwriting supporter. That's Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Also, a big thank you to all three of our diamond level underwriting supporters, underwriting all of our Aces sports coverage on Hicks TV. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, I should say. Also, APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers and the Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Give them a call if you want information on a COVID booster or a flu shot, 419-542-6218. Thanks also to our Gold Level Underwriting supporter, Subway of Hicksville, where Alan and the gang say, go Lady Aces, Subway of Hicksville. Proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award, which Jim and I are going to hand out here momentarily. And our Silver Level underwriting supporter, underwriting all of our Route 49 Classic coverage here on Hicks TV. 
as well as other select sporting and non-sporting events throughout 2023. That's the Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. All right, Jim, let's uh, take a look. And yeah. I'm uh, two points short All for right. Antwerp. Let me see here. I'll go down the Hicksville scoring. Uh, Kennedy Adams had two baskets and a free throw for five. Leah Seitz had two baskets, a three-pointer, and a free throw for eight. Uh, Hayden Nyhart had a basket and a free throw for three. Uh, Ken McKenna Rice had a deuce and a tray for five, as did Ashlyn Steary. And Lily Porter had a basket and a free throw for three. And leading all the aces in scoring was Lindsey Bergman. She had five baskets, four free throws for a total of 14 for the aces, 43 points. For all right, for Eden, you yeah, can okay. I'll, you, I'll let you double check me. All right, for Eden, I had Grace Retzel with a bucket for two. I had Emma Hickman with a bucket for two. I had J.C. Craven with three free throws and three. I had Addison Briner with two buckets for four. I had Maddie Gehrig with two field goals and a free throw for five. And then I had Natalie Wolford with 18 points in the first half. And she added two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 more for 31. So 31. And You're right. Yeah, that, that makes 47. Yep. You're so, right. <clears throat> Natalie and Wolford, a career night tonight, 31 points to win her team the championship or the consolation game. They needed it. Their uh, free throw shooting was big in this game. Yep. And Antwerp was 16 of 32, but the Aces were only 8 of 18, so they didn't no. hit half of them if they would have hit. Yeah, you know. both teams shooting right around 50%, a little under. Yeah. But so yeah, that that makes a difference. Makes a big difference. Oh, so, it was like I said before. It looked to me like it was a moral victory for the Aces yep. in in and, the big show. And you called it at the beginning. You that the the winner of this game may well be the one that's just a little more aggressive, a little more better, able to keep control of the basketball, not get their passes picked off, and not and, make the a yeah. whole bunch of the little mistakes. Yeah, and again we. We saw that. I mean, not I'm not to get on the Lady Aces because no. they have shown consistent improvement. Right. And uh, they, uh, like I said, they are still a, kind of a work in progress. But, again, we saw some good things tonight. I mean, we were talking about Ashlyn Sturry. She's really she played really well. played really well. And McKenna Rice coming in off yeah. the JV squad. And then Lily Porter looks like she might be starting to come into her own a little bit. She's She's got a little further way to go, I think. But still not bad at all. And, again, if you look at the Aces – I mean, you got two players, three players scoring five, one scoring eight, a couple scoring three, and, you know. Seven, so, seven people put yeah. numbers on the board so, tonight. Can't complain about that. Well, mm. before we wrap it up, we have to give out a Subway gift card, the player of the game, and I don't think there's any doubt in my mind, Jim. Well, certainly. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the same undoubted mind that, that so, me and Chris both We are have. all in agreement here, and uh, – Lucky number 13, Lindsey Bergman, is going to be the Subway player of the game for this consolation matchup. Congratulations to Lindsey. We've got a $10 Subway gift card coming her way along with a certificate. And, uh, again, that's brought to you by Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say, go, Lady Aces. Remember, Subway of Hicksville, a great place to stop before or after the game or any time. Subway of Hicksville. All right, that's going to wrap things up. When We're going to wrap up this uh, live stream. But uh, stick around. We're going to be back with you in about uh, 9, 10 minutes from right now. And that's going to be our second live stream from here at the range. It'll be the championship matchup between the Antwerp Archers and the Edgerton Bulldogs. So until we talk to you then in about 10 minutes from right now, once again, your final score in the consolation game, it was Eden beating Hicksville 47-43. to And for Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play and Chris Warner running the camera and overseeing the OBS software and the live stream, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good night.